Enjoy a call with it. Brilliant, thank you so much. Are you all having a good time? Yeah. Brilliant. Now yeah. to start off, Jack, yeah. there's one card face down in this pack of cards. Yeah. That's my prediction. I would just like to name any card in the pack whatsoever, but don't name the Ace of Spades, that's a bit obvious and the Joker doesn't really count. But any other card's fine. Okay, you want me to name it now? Go for it. Okay, now I'm going to go for Four of Diamonds. Four of Diamonds, yeah. which I'll be as fair as possible. Remember I said, the Joker doesn't count. If we go through the pack, there should be one card and only one card face down, smack in the centre, Jack. Please take it out and show it to everybody. I don't want to touch it. The Four oh, of yeah. Diamonds. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'll just take that off you, buddy. Because I would you like all like to see that. the oldest wow. trick in the world? Now, the oldest trick in the world, it dates back to ancient Egypt. It's over 2,000 years old. In fact, there's pictures of it in the hieroglyphics. Up there, you've got hieroglyphics, and down there, you've got lower hieroglyphics. <laughs> but that's just a terrible joke, anyway. Now, here's the thing, Holly. Yeah. You know, if you use a cup, and we're also going to use a ball. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be fair the first three times. But after that, I'm going to cheat, okay? So the idea is, you've just got to tell me whether the ball is in the cup or whether it's in my pocket. Got ya. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to start off with, is the ball in the cup or in the pocket? Cup. Of course, I'm not cheating yet, am I? Second time round, Holly. Is the ball, is it in my pocket or is it under the cup? In your pocket. Superb. <laughs> and last time, you might not quite be able to hear it. I'll be extra slow though, so you can see I'm not cheating. Is the ball under the cup or in my pocket? I think it's in your pocket. Yeah, you bang on. <laughs> three out of three. Have you done this before? Maybe I have. You're very good at it. Thank you. <laughs> now here's the thing, Holly. Now's the moment I'm going to cheat. You've got to find the time that I get this ball from my pocket to underneath that cup. And that's going to start round about now. Now perhaps you weren't expecting that, so I'll do it again. Okay. Look, if I place the ball in my pocket, where do you think the ball is? In your pocket. But if I'm cheating, where should it be? In your cup. Under the cup, let's take a look and see. Under the cup, it's oh. crazy, isn't it? Now, Holly, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I've got two balls, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, maybe, I, maybe I should rephrase that, shouldn't I? I have got two balls, it's just that this ball's a lot bigger than the other ball. Oh. Can you see that there? Oh. And I know what you're thinking, Ellie. You're thinking, bloody hell, Kev, what kind of a cup's this? Well, it's an egg cup. Where did that come oh. from? And in case you went crazy over the egg, Jack, you're gonna go mental over the chicken. No. I can't believe oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, let's make sure I'm still wired up. Ellie, are you okay to come and help me with this next trick? Oh, yeah, I love Go it. I love being here. Go on, lass. What's your sidekick or like help her? What's your... You're a glamorous. A bit of both, assistant. really. Hey, please sit down, Ellie. Now, Ellie, this is one of the first tricks I ever learned as a kid. It's called the 10 card trick. Any ideas how many cards it uses? Nine. No, I'm joking, ten. Have you seen this before? <laughs> right, but watch. It does use ten cards. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Ellie, do you believe me that there are indeed ten face-up cards right there? Yeah. You shouldn't do, I'm a magician. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. There is a way in Las Vegas that you can recount cards. Let me show you what you do. You take them face-up and you place one to the bottom and you count that as one, you turn it over face down. Then you turn the next one, count that as two, the next one, three, carry on. So this is number four. So you take them four, four to the bottom, yeah? Five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten. Ten, ten. Sit on them. On the ten? Sit on those cards. <laughs> Ellie, you have just made ten cards very happy. <laughs> I've made them disappear. So, here's the thing. I'm going to try and send some more cards from my pack to underneath. Well, let's face it, you bum, right? <laughs> let's take a look and see. One, two. Do you feel any higher? I had a bit of a jump. You're not sure, though, are you? I'll do one more. Three. Oh, I felt that. You felt that. Now, Ellie, in a second, I'm going to get you to count those cards. But I want you to count them one card at a time, out loud, and nice and slowly and dramatically. So there should be 13 now, shouldn't there? Yeah. Do you want to come round here at the side of me with those cards? You're sat on 10 cards. I was, yeah. Go on, count them out loud. 
Right. Count them out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a ten. We've Stop! Got... How many cards have we got left? Three. Isn't that crazy? Wow. But wait a second, that's not all. That's not all. Most magicians would end there. We're going to take a step further. Gather all the cards up and sit on them again. Oh, God. Right, it's in. And they're no. in. Yo, oh, you know what Ellie, I'm doing. this time, I'm, uh, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it with more cards. And I'll do it a little bit faster. I don't know how many seconds it'll take me. In fact, I'll tell you what, name a number from one to ten and say it out loud. Six. Six. We'll do six <laughs> cards. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you feel any higher? Mm. I'll say one more. Yeah. Seven. Seven more cards have travelled from this pack underneath you. No. Ellie, what no. is... 13 plus 7. It's 20. I'm not even going to touch anything. Count them out loud. No. Oh, God. Are ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, a 12, a 13, a 14, a 15, a 16, a 17, an 18, a 19, and a 20. 20 oh! cards! Thank you! Oh. Thank you! Please, can we sit down? Oh, yeah. What else? No. Holly, will you come out, please? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Right. And sit down there, please, if you don't mind. Of course. Now, while Holly's making herself comfortable, we've actually got what, in my opinion, are the only deck of snap cards that truly make sense. Let me show you what I mean. So you take a look and see, they're actually socks. And socks naturally come in pairs. So it makes sense that you would have snap cards, wouldn't you, of socks. You know, if you've got a pair of socks you might wear at home, uh, they're a little bit funky. There's something you might wear at an 80s disco. Uh, something my, 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 my granddad might have worn, I guess. <laughs> All different kinds of designs. And if you go far enough, you will find a matching pair. But here's the thing. There are all, of course, different designs. They're a little bit funky. Um, I wouldn't be seen dead in those. But here's the thing. There is one perfect match within this deck. Now, Holly, in a second, I'll get you to name a num an even number between 10 and 20. I say even because socks come in pairs. Yeah. So let's name an even number between 10 and 20. 12. 12, watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We don't need the rest of the socks for now. And like I say, we'll deal them into two packets, seeing as socks come into pairs. Now... Remember all these socks were ma uh, mixed up, weren't they? Yeah. If you managed to find the only perfect match, that would be a miracle, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look, this is yours, that we've arrived at from your number 12. Okay. That you could have thought of any, any number, and this is yours. Now, Holly, not Ellie, I'd like you to hold this up and show everybody what you've got yet, but Ellie, don't... You don't, don't want Ellie to say... Don't look yet, no. Hold this up and show everybody what sock you've got. I can see as well. What have we got? We've got a uh, yellow sock with green stripes and yellow dots. And Ellie, if you hold this up, we have a perfect match. Oh. Oh. Well, do you know, being a magician, we can solve problems. Because remember, all these were mixed up beforehand. Look, if we give a snap like this. Now, over here, we have a perfect match. Hey. A perfect match. Hey. Another perfect match. In fact, all the way through, ladies and gentlemen, we have perfect matches. Thank you so much. Wow. But wait a second. I said magicians are good at solving problems, but the real problem I want to solve is this one. I said this pair would be a perfect match, but they are a perfect match, just not with each other. You see, because what do we have over here? If I can come around here, we have a purple sock with white stars and yellow stars. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a purple sock with white stars and yellow stars. And what do we have over here? We have a uh, yellow sock with green stars and yellow dots. And what do we have over here? We have a yellow sock with green stars and yellow dots. Thank you. Please, we take a seat. Wow. Please take a seat. I'm afraid to say this next trick is my last trick. Aww. Aww. Did anybody notice the prediction at the front? Yeah. The, 11th, <laughs> the 11th of March was a special date to me. Any ideas why that would be, Joe? 
No. It was the date that I found out that I'd made this live audition. And that was the date that I made this prediction. Ellie. Yeah. Please, would you put in a random three-digit number into the calculator? Um. Okay. Press the times. Yeah. And Jack, will you put in another random three-digit number? Of course. Can we press equals, please? Of course. There we go. Holly, what number do we have? 260423. 260,423. No. This prediction has been out here no. the whole time. No, I'm gone. No. Let's, let's <laughs> take a look and see. <laughs> I'm gone. You said 260,423. Yes. Let's take a look <laughs> and see. Ladies and gentlemen, 223. No, 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 no. And 23. No. Great. That's not all. You see, most magicians would end there. Holly. Yeah. Oh. Is there any way that I could have influenced you three to think of that number? No. Holly, oh, could you? what is today's date? Oh, no. The 26th oh. of April 2023. Happy Kevin, thank you, good what? night. Thank you. Well done. Well. Thank you.